Hey, what's up YouTube? Matt from the GoBros. Coming to you guys in the video today. And in this video, I'm going to be doing the much-awaited conditioning tutorial. So as you guys can see, I do have both of my hands. Marco is recording it. He's recording it it's in a pretty awkward way, but it's kind of funny. So I wanted to bring that up. So first thing I wanted to bring up was the whole um, unboxing video this morning. That was supposed to be posted last night. Unfortunately, I had some issues with YouTube. It wouldn't load. I had to... You know do a couple things and I finally had it load so you guys are getting I think the first ever the Glove Bros double upload which you know is usually for accounts that matter and we don't so all right let's jump right into this so the much awaited conditioning tutorial here's a couple things you're gonna need conditioner a toothbrush this is just like my box of like stuff for gloves it has like lace in it sharpies um, cut up t-shirt I use you can use like a towel or a rag anything you really have is lying around I cut up an old t-shirt, you know, that I don't wear anymore, don't even care about it. Uh, more cut t-shirt. Um, a different conditioner. Old piece of tape, that definitely does not belong in there. Um, lacing tool, you know, I have another one, but we don't know where it is and I actually need it. To, re to relace the wrist on my new DW5, if you haven't seen that video, hashtag spoiler. Um, got some tan lace, you know, which I'm not going to use. Electric tape. Uh, for the top of um, lizard skins, different conditioner. Ooh, that has my league name on it. Ooh, I hope none of you guys saw that. Um, a wristband. I don't know why. I could actually say Devin Colley gave this to me. The infamous DC gloves. Um, he did release me, and it took too long. It took like forever, and then he sent this back to me, and I can. I've never even put it on. I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna probably toss it. Um, a couple other things in here. Uh, need on those pliers you're gonna probably need those when you release and a bunch of sharpies some more towels so that's really it um now let's really like get into it um toothbrush you know, is the most important um people ask me all the time what conditioners i use um this is an independent company uh we're actually just started working with and uh it's called dat glove stuff uh it's pretty good conditioner i really like it um nakona is another good one uh really this is all we have right now is this and then the Wilson Mink Oil is the other one that we have currently. Just covering this up so you guys don't like read my league name, but I really don't care that much. It's just my summer league. Uh, I'm running low on this one, but um, another one we really use, we I like a lot. It's probably my favorite conditioner out right now, is the Web Gem Glow Glaze. So that's probably you know one of the best ones to get for darker leather gloves. You can kind of use anything. For something lighter, I'd probably suggest like a Nakona or um, Deck Love Stuff or uh, Web Gem Glow Glaze. That's probably going to be your best option. So, for this, let me dive on in. I'm going to have everything I need. Got my towel, got a big oil open, and got this Pro Preferred. Um, Marcos, Rawlings Pro Preferred, 11.5 Limited Edition, Home Run Monkey, uh, Mocha with black mesh, white web, white binding. Uh, palm's nice, it's just not that bright in here so it's kind of hard to tell. Here's the palm. Uh, this glove's actually for sale only if you're interested in it. Slide into my DMs on Instagram, for sale only, don't offer me your trades, I don't want it. Uh, he's saving up for a custom so he doesn't really need your money. So um, basically what you're gonna do is- I don't need your gloves. I don't need your gloves, I suck at life. Um, I don't even know why I do YouTube. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to wipe a little bit of the conditioner on your toothbrush and then you're just going to go hog wild. I usually will start like right to left or left to right. I really just put a light coat, you know, all over the inside of the glove. Really get in there. Rub a dub dub, you know, scrub. That was horrible, bro. We really shouldn't do these videos. I don't even know why people watch us. Um, I'm going to dive right into this. Uh, do a little bit more. I like to be a little bit more liberal with it. A lot of people are like, oh, you only need it like the size of the dime. I like to use what I want. So how about that? This is America. So last time I checked, I can use as much glove conditioner as I want. Bald Eagle Screech. Bald Eagle Screech. Insert Bald Eagle Screech. If we knew how to uh, <laughs> edit, which we suck at. So I'm really going in there, you know, light. Not really, you know, getting too deep into it. I'm just going over the top. Uh, I'm going to dive into this white web. This one I'm going to scrub in a little bit more. I really want to get some the the oils nice and deep in there. Um, so at this stage now, you know you can do one of two things. You could either let it rest, 
or you can wipe it. Um, I usually wipe it unless it's really, really, really bad. You know, I just put like a super dry game or something. You know, maybe I'll let it sit there for about 40 minutes to an hour and then I'll come in and wipe it out. But for this purpose, I'm just going to wipe it. Uh, you're going to go in there and you're just going to start wiping it out. Just wipe the ass. You know, really just get in there, clean it up. Really uh, make sure, you know, you're cleaning it out nice and good. Wiping it out nicely. And then I'm going to go in nicely lately on the web. And that's it. Now nicely fresh condition. You can see that glisten it has to it, which is, you know, super nice. Nice fresh leather feels absolutely amazing. And you can use this uh, conditioner anywhere except on mesh. You know, there's no need for it to be on mesh. Um, you can use it on a liner. This one has a pretty good liner on it, so, you know, you don't really need it. You can come in with a binding. Whatever you need, you know, whatever your glove needs, that's what you should condition. You know, your glove's really going to tell you. Um, it still has, like, a little bit of um, attack to it from the conditioner, but overall this glove feels um, really great. So, yeah, if you're interested, for sale only, limited edition, don't offer me. Stupid number. Be smart. Don't waste my time. And now we're going to jump into my All-Star CM3000 SBT. I'm going to do a dark leather glove and a light leather glove. You know, just try to keep it, you know, as basic as possible. Very, you know, very much the same process overall. Um, you know, I'm going to just go in there. I'm just going to clean this off real quick. Um, so, yeah, this is, you know, all the, the dirt and conditioner that came up with it. So, it's not all just dirt. You know, don't think that glove's dirty. It's in great shape if you're interested in it. So, I'm going to use get rid of this and then i'm going to use the nakona for this one i'm just gonna open this up this is like a fresh tube too oh shit i just nutted oh, shit. on my glove Whoa. oh shit i just bukkakied on my glove oh shit what up see don't do that so i can just wipe it off no problem that's right i was gonna go condition that anyway wow that was terrible we are really the worst youtubers ever all right, see, that's why you don't squeeze a fresh bottle too hard. Just a little bit. Wipe it on your, wipe it on the toothbrush. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness gracious. This is a struggle bus video. Just start lightly going over the whole thing. Really get in those areas. You know, you see where it's a little bit more dirt. I'm going to really rub it down. I really just rub one out here. You know, just. <laughs> this is so awkward. I know you guys want this video so bad, so we're helping you out, but it sucks because I need two hands. So Marco is like an inch and a half away from my face with that. I hope I don't sound too loud. I'm loud anyway. Really, you know, just Every get in there. The Sorry, guys. This really sucks. I don't, I don't, why do you guys subscribe to us? Let us know in the comments. If you made it this far in the video, let us know why you subscribe to us. You probably clicked off by now. Really, you know, just get in there, just do it. You know, just show you guys that. Same thing, wipe the ass. Just really get in there, you know. All right, so that's that. Let me show you guys, you know, as you guys can see, you know, much better. It's gonna be a little bit darker, especially on a camel glove. Which is, you know, totally fine. Just let it rest properly. You know, don't rush right into use with it. Sorry, I'm going to block you guys. I'm just going to take it back. Uh, you know, I hope we could be helpful with this. And a lot of people have been asking for it. Um, big thing I'm going to talk about with the conditioning is keep it simple. You know, you don't, there's not some crazy process of, you know, doing this. You just got to trust yourself. You know, use the oil. If you're cautious about it, use it sparingly. You know, only use a little bit and then come back with it. The worst thing you're going to do if you over condition your glove is you're probably just going to make the leather darker. You know, unless you're using, you know, like, I don't know if you guys are very familiar with the Dual Core Hard to Hide series. Um, those That's an injected leather with oil. That's what makes it break it in so fast. That's why those have a tendency to be a little bit heavy. So unless you're using, like, this whole, I don't even know what I did with it. I was using, like, this whole container, you know, to do one glove. You're going to be all right. You know, let it dry properly. Right now, I'm going to go put these gloves outside, let them rest for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Really let them dry out in the sun. That's something I like to do. It also makes sure the camel leather isn't going to get too dark is by letting it just sit in the sun. 
it dries up really nicely. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I'm a, bit, a little bit longer of a video today, but obviously I want to get pretty in depth about the conditioning, you know, talk to you guys about it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me, obviously, at the Glove Bros on Instagram. Uh, a couple videos coming up in the future. I ended up not making those final thoughts videos on my Pro 1000 and my Heart of Hide weeders. Um, if you guys do want, like, you know, videos about that or something, maybe I'll just show another glove and talk over it. I'm not sure if you guys want it. Um, other than that, you know, what's in our bag videos are coming soon. Maybe one tomorrow, not sure yet. Gonna see how it goes. I have to do um, something important tomorrow, so I'm gonna do that. Also, we're gonna be going on vacation. Well, I'll be going on vacation. Marco will still be around, so maybe Marco will make a video tomorrow or something, but uh, keep you guys posted. Um, you know, always stay ready for more videos. Somebody asked for like an A2K versus Pro Preferred video. Cool, that's definitely gonna happen. You know, I'd be more than happy to do that. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, like, subscribe. Always drop video ideas. Until next time, have a good day.